Well, y'all, I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. I've had a couple of difficult days. Uh, as Kay Gilbert said, it can't be all as good as you're saying. Well, of course not. I'm not on video when I'm miserable. Um, and it's not miserable, miserable, but it's not always comfortable. And pain is manageable. I have to say that. I have not been um, displeased with the pain management. Um, what gets you, they're all thing, everything is just it will start working again, like your stomach and all that from taking all the pain medication. And then, you know, if you start getting off the pain medication, I mean, there's just all kinds of things. So you just don't feel good. I didn't feel good for a couple of days and had to uh, really fight through to even get in, you know, one session of my uh, therapy, the full range of the exercises, walk around the house, walk around the house, walk around the house. But then I, I realized I was, even though I'm thinking and feeling that, I was just getting antsy. So yesterday, Roger says, do you want to try walking outside? I said, of course, let me try that. I don't know what I was thinking. Because, uh, so I just walked out my front door to my mailbox. It's not that far, y'all. And I'm going, why is this wearing me out? Because I can walk around my house four times. That wears me out inside. But just to walk down there and back. And then I realized there was a slight incline. That's why we didn't flood back in 2016. So I went, oh, crap. So anyway, I came back in the house. and But luckily for me, uh, as I was bored yesterday, uh, uh, it was really nice. My nieces were in dance recitals, which I could watch that. And a bunch of the kids at Arkansas Tech were doing their junior and senior recitals. So I could watch that. So I had something to do in between my whining and um, trying to get my exercise in. The other thing I will tell you, uh, I think that's important to know, is that um, a lot of people want to come visit. And I really appreciate that. But the problem with that is sometimes you just don't feel good. And uh, and my house right now, I can't sit in the living room. I can't get up and down out of those chairs. And in my bedroom right now, uh, the love seat, which people, guests could sit on, is uh, kind of covered in stuff, like <laughs> lots of stuff over there, all kinds of things. So it's kind of junky in here. Uh, but we're, it's, I'm starting to feel better about that now that I'm feeling better. So this morning, yesterday I tried this. I sat at a chair at the kitchen table uh, with a uh, dining table that had arms on it. So I could actually get up and down. That was really nice. So this morning, I was, I'm going to have breakfast at the table, read the paper with Roger. That lasted about 15 minutes because uh, that chair cut into my leg. So I told Roger, next time we need to put a pillow on top of that chair on that edge so that there's a cushion. Because you know, my leg has been elevated this whole time. I, I'm not sitting any time that it's not elevated. So that was my first try at that. And then this afternoon, we're going to try one of my other recliners that is not um, electric to see if uh, he can get me in that and recline. We had to do it with my mom all the time. So I know we can do it. It's just a matter of how comfortable it's going to be because it's really comfortable where I am right now. So I am progressing. So I'm going to show you all a few things that I have learned that I hope will help you in your um, journey if you have to do this. Okay, so you have to wrap your leg in saran wrap in order to take a shower. And then taking it off, you would think you'd start unwrapping it. But you're not believe what saran wrap I've got on here. I think one package will do four showers. So Roger's going to show. We just cut it off because it's just faster. So Roger, just start right down here. Get underneath the plastic there. Yeah, these aren't very sharp scissors, but it does the job. I just can wrap the side here so I can, it doesn't get into anything. You're right. Stay over here because I can see the plot. I can see my bandages over here. He's watching for the bandages. Oh, see? Pull it off. Got a little damp today. I think the dampness, honestly, is from uh, <laughs> is from me leaving it in that uh, plastic while I did my ha my, did my hair. So here's a couple of my tips for taking a shower. I've actually taken a shower twice by myself without Roger's help, which is kind of fun. So I bring my walker over here. I have two towels on here. And then this is my right knee that is wrapped up. So I turn my shower head to the wall so it's really not hitting directly on me. Uh, for some reason, I can't sit and take a shower. I have to stand up and do my hair. And then when I'm done with my hair, I sit down to dry, which has been a godsend. And this great chair, it, it, you know, it had high elevation because I've got long legs, so it's really nice. But anyway, 
to get in and out of the shower, this is what I worked with my therapist on, so I know how to do it. But you step on the, the ledge here, because this is not, this isn't a rolling shower, it's a vlogging shower. So I step with my good leg onto the white here, and then with my right leg, which is my bad leg, I step down with it, and then that puts me into my shower. So when I get out of the shower, I have my walker here with my two towels, and one I can start drying off with and put, you know, wrapping my hair up, and the other one I finish drying off with. And then this tells me that I'm feeling much better. The most important thing was I have a nice cushy robe. I haven't worn it for, God, over a week or two. And, um, you know, just wanted to get in that it was wonderful. My chair is a little low, so we put an extra towel on top of it to give me a couple extra inches so I could sit here and do my hair. Very important things. It's been a good day.